everybody. Oh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, cool. Everything's capturing. Hopefully. Hello, hello, hello. Somewhere between, somewhere in the middle of this recording, I'm gonna close the blinds. Hey, hey, you, hey, what can I say? You preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. I'll fix your feet, Mercury. Are you ready? I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. I'll close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that for you. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. the wings on your feet fly you just a lighter size for what? Alright, so I'm gonna grab that. Hi. How is your thin blood reunion? This life's been hard on him. Both of us. But he forgives me. We're leaving soon. I have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It should be okay for us to stay out there, as long as we're together. That's my goal in life. Look to the letter and block, by the way.
Let's see if we can go through that entire thing. Yo! Ah, oh, for Christ's sakes. Psst. Come here. See me in the vision of- Yo! Pally, over here! That's you, right? Is that you? Yo! Pally, over here! Psst. Come here. Yo! Pally, over here! Psst. Come here. Psst. Come here. Psst. Fine, I'll be civil for the Come sake here. of the story. Alright, look. Psst. Come here. Yo, Pally, over here. Psst. Come here. Hold up a sec. Psst. Head down. Yo, Pally. Yo, Pally, over here. Oh, that's you, right? Is that you? No. Yo, Pally, over here. That's you, right? Is that you? That's you, right? Is that you? Yo, Pally, over here. That's you, right? Is that you? Yo, Pally, over here. Psst. Come here. Jacobson, if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting in these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. Send me, see me in the vision of Jacobson's corrupt crony. Take it easy, Lois Lane. This is still a badge you're talking to. Fine, I'll be civil for the sake of the story. All right, look. I got you a copy of the initial report. And I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Okay. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, brainchild. Got it. Where's my path lead? Hold up a sec. Heinz to Marsh. Heinz to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Awesome. Clarity is not my goblet of Earl Grey. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Got Dilly-dally, you're strange bedfellows. Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual- Heinz to Jacobson. Uh, Anderson. Heinz to Anderson. Come in, Anderson. 
come check this out. I just saw a baleen whale. Yeah?
Fingers are cold. I'm telling you. Go do, game. Ow. 
This might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Uh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not wearing you out or anything, am I? Only because of you, what you did for me. Here, I... I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. It can be useful to you. I'd do anything, just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. You won't regret it. Promise. I'll get you money. I'll get you things. Everything. I want to be important to you. Uh, I know where you live. I checked there first. I'll wait for you at your place. And when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. See Mr. LaCroix again? You know, he is impatient for me. Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little different, though. You wonder if he's... Ah, that's his business. My thanks, Beefy Scarecrow. I've said all I need to, for now. Hey, it's him, I know him for sure. I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. The deck was washed with the blood of semen. <laughs> and the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? Bloody hands crept out within and made wonderful patterns all over. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering molly cottles filing out. <laughs> Oh, 
sure. Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, a Malkavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. The Sabbat's appearance has put the Primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into, and have him contact us. Grout, I cannot find this name. I should not go. Each minor problem, like a grain of sand. Each night, I inherit the desert. It's the seemingly insignificant, time-consuming trivialities that plague my night. Which is why, when I assign you a simple task, I only want to hear unbridled vehemence on your part. Understood? Where does this body go? Yes. Uh, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed well, in the place for him. Paranoid. It should be for a reason, right? I wonder something first. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Questions of faces. Yes. The lone wolf. You've met Beckett. Yes. He did pay me the courtesy of announcing his presence in my city. He's lionized in kindred society, by most. Beckett's the definition of renowned scholar, but he's also a lone wolf, and owes allegiance only to his intellectual pursuits. About a face? Yes. The one who's smiling. Jack. Hmm. The man is a scourge. The physical manifestation of chaos. Whenever he makes an appearance in one city, it is only a matter of time before a calamity is attributed to his latest lock. Really? Sounds fun. I take my questions back. I'll see Grout instead. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. Oh, and to show my appreciation for your dedicated service to me, I have secured you a haven nearby, in the Skyline Apartment Building. I hope it's to your liking. Do things as he says, no deaths, and I get things done, apparently.
if you don't get through to me tonight, don't let it break your heart. I'm here each and every AM. So keep dialing those magic numbers and just maybe you'll be as lucky as a good caller. What's your name? Greg, up late, aren't we? Well, there are damn bombs. I choose your the power plant pretty much alone. The thing that gets me through this shift is your pretty little fist. Oh, Thank stay you, Greg. Well, I imagine if he was half as pretty as your voice, then uh, you're the prettiest woman in the city. Aren't you the gentleman? While you were gone, I tapped my foot over 3,000 times. I don't know why I counted. Huh. Good evening, Deb. Yes, I think that's implied by the title of the show. Is there something I can do for you? Anything. Just ask. Never worry, Deb, that the world is going to end. I haven't felt that way since Brad Pitt got married. Oh, you're a night person. Me too. I bet you say that to all the girls. There is a red star in the night sky. The blood sure. of mortals and the that blood of makes sense. It all makes sense. Those feelings that something's there in the dark? It wasn't my imagination. Okay, well, it's not crazy at all. Apologies to all you night owls out there, but this girl's got something she's got to take care of for the next few minutes. Here's a little nice music to keep you up. You it's like you've pulled the shades off my mind's window. I can see now. There's a whole world out there. It's mind blowing. That's not my margarine. That's butter. It's bitch. You know I'm supposed to watch my LDL levels. I thought it would be a nice change. You couldn't even tell. You don't want a divorce. You're trying to kill me. I'm glad I slept with your sister. I thought it was margarine, gravy, oh, butter. Better, well, the rancid taste of margarine, all the saturated. You will. I do love you so much. Whatever you are. I don't care. I just want to be man. with you. Isn't it great? I couldn't even believe it. We went out to dinner, and afterwards we started getting busy. I went into the bathroom to take it. I could feel it right away. Hell, you could see the title change in the toilet bowl. The visa track. What can I do to show my appreciation? Common side effects include fainting, tingling in extremities, temporary blindness, deathly pallor. It's all a blur of nonsense. I'd rather forget the past, the ignorance, and just follow your trail of headcrumbs into Wonderland. Like space burglars, huh? You know, when I was your age, space was mostly a mystery. We didn't know what was up there. Why, I thought there were little alien kids on Mars that might be watching me. Yeah, I used to make signs for them saying, Hello, Martians! Or, give me a ride on your rocket craft. Of course, I was young and naive thinking Martians could read English. <laughs> Everyone knew Martians communicated telepathically through space operators on their moon base. Billy, what did I tell you about talking to Grandpa? I want to go to space first. Hey, friend, this looks like a job for Commander Mom. Report to the space base. Oh, boy.
heard anything. Got it. Keep it up. Two minutes, newbie. All the time I've got to spare right now. This is some rhymes. Came to California to get out of the Dust Bowl during the 30s. Been fighting this fight since the 40s when we kicked out the Canada. I was new to it all back then. Not a whole lot of people from those nights still around. And some of them are. They're just not addicts anymore. Roll over, play ball, give up all we fought for, die for. Do you really think that's an option? Do you really think any time's up? Come around in a few minutes if you're still alive, maybe I'll have time to kill. But I doubt it. Time's up. Come around in a few minutes if you're still alive, maybe I'll have time. So to I heard you and Nines had a run in with the Savat, huh? And you let them go. Nines must be getting soft. How could you pass up that kind of fun? Why does Nine keep saving this little flock? Well, uh, uh, he was left sireless too. I don't know, maybe that's it. Uh, he's got a thing for the little guy. You, what are you doing here? He is the numbered name. No. Your words are a little wobbly. You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. What secrets hold within these walls?
this up. If there's problems with my voice or audio, just leave it in the comments and I'll see if I can fix it in the next episode.
Oh, you look good. Music. It's always good. 
right, let's get out of here. In there. Something burning? Ooh, smells like someone burnt the burgers. Send me to the core. Ah, uh, sure, I'll open her up for you. Ah, jeez, I could go for one of them double space burgers with onions and cheese and bacon and a guacamole. Ooh. The Primogen still haven't been contacted by Grout. I thought I made it clear that you are not supposed to come back until we had heard from him. You no longer hear the voice of Grout. Grout's dead! What? 
Who is Bach? Why does he want to sit me on fire? Bach! Every time I think he's lost the scent. So, Bach killed Grout to draw me out. Grout was not hunted, he was disposed of. Bach's words do not match your assumption. Bach is a hunter. They stalk and kill our kind to appease their god. But like many mortals, their so-called faith is nothing but a conduit through which they quench their killing urge. Who else would have killed Grout? Grout minus Bach equals nine. He was a sell myself first. Look at me. Are you sure it was Nines Rodriguez? Because if it was, the consequences... Do you know where this might lead? Do you really have any idea? His fist is made of anarchs. Dramas. I'm glad you find this so amusing. I don't. It means... Under most circumstances, I would call a blood hunt on the murderer immediately. However, the Anarchs of this city may interpret such an action to be a declaration of war. I do not want a war with them. This decision will take some time. I need to confer with the Primogen on this. In the meantime, I've come to a decision on the Ankaran sarcophagus. And I believe that for the safety of the inhabitants of this city, we need to place the sarcophagus under Camarilla protection until its contents can be confirmed. You're becoming quite indispensable to me. So, out of all my available personnel, I'm going to entrust the retrieval of the sarcophagus to you. It was quietly delivered to the Museum of Natural History a few hours ago. I'm gone now. The manifest from the Dane shows there was a small box from the same dig on board, but it was listed as missing. Keep an eye open for it. It may have been overlooked. It's crucial we get the sarcophagus in our possession within the next few hours. It is here. Here are the keys to the front door of the museum. The sarcophagus should be in an examination room of some sort. There's a small security staff on site, but I don't want a massacre. Mortals are just as easy to deceive as they are to kill. First, my mind wonder something. One or two, but that's all. Who is the spider in the web between you and Bach? My history with that family dates back to Bach's grandfather. Who pursued me into Africa, where I killed him. Bach's father tracked me to London to meet his death. And now Bach and the Society of Leopold have followed me across America. They never learn. Who is Leopold? Witch hunters. An anachronistic holdover from the Middle Ages. They are inquisitors, whose fanaticism has convinced them that their triumph over the supernatural will save mankind and secure them a cushy spot in heaven. I'll make this field trip to the There is a degree of immediacy attached to this task. Work fast. And, as on the Dane, you are not to open the Ankaran sarcophagus for any reason. So we're gonna go... I'm going to have to call this episode here. If you like more, if you like it, let's see more. Like, comment, comment if I'm messing up. Call me out.
PlayStation.